Hello, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Excellent. Very. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today, everybody? Great. Excellent. Are you excited for Friday? Ready for, for weekend? Yes. Well, the Friday, Friday be, uh, uh, began today. No comments. Yeah, began today. Yeah, begins today. Yeah, begins Friday begins today. today. <laughs> right now is Friday. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. How was your celebration, teacher? Uh, actually, it was pretty good. Uh, basically, I did nothing today. <laughs> A vacation? Uh, yeah, I had the day off today. Yeah, because of the holiday. So basically, I, I mean, I, I get up early because I have to get up early every day. Um, I went to to left my 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 wife to the bus station then i went to left my kids to the to the kindergarten and then when i arrived i uh, i ate my breakfast i watched tv uh like for this is the three best or four part. hours <laughs> this is the best part <laughs> yeah definitely and then i i got lunch and i watched tv again <laughs> And then in the afternoon, I start working. I start preparing classes and doing some things. Uh, and that's when my day ended. But yeah, most of my morning, just watching TV. Actually, it started, I have heard, I don't know if you like uh, like sitcoms, uh, uh, that, like in Netflix or things like those. But I have heard about this one called Narcos. Narcos Mexico, I think. So I, I, haven't, I haven't seen it. And since I've been watching like a lot of YouTube videos and then I went on Netflix and see what, what was there. And I saw that and said, it says there's new episodes. So I'll give it a try, I will start. And I watched the first, the first episode. Wow, it's good. It's pretty good. It's awesome. Has someone here have, have watched it? Yes? Yes, me. You do? <laughs> yes, I did. So is it good? Yes, I, I like it a lot. Uh, well, in my case, it's not my favorite kind of uh, films, mm -hmm. but in this case, I enjoy it because I I enjoy to to watch uh, Diego Luna. Okay, yeah, he's good. He's yes. good. I just saw the first episode, and wow, he, he's he's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, so it was good, and I'm planning to watch it the whole uh, sitcom. Because it, it looks good. Uh, so that happens to me. For example, my my favorite two sitcoms are at least for like action things. It's uh, Sons of Anarchy. Have you ever seen Sons of Anarchy? No. What? Sons, Sons of Anarchy. It's like for a motorcycle club, and I mean they are like dealing with drugs and things and many many things. But it's so good. That's the best. Sons of Anarchy is one of the best sitcoms that I have ever watched. And also Breaking Bad. Netflix. Uh, yeah, uh, Sons of Anarchy, I'm not sure if it's in Netflix now. I think it's in Amazon Prime. But uh, okay. then the other one, the uh, Breaking Bad, I think that's um, on Netflix. Breaking Bad is good too. It's what? So good. what? what? Uh, Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. Yeah, Breaking Bad. It, it's about a teacher, a chemistry teacher that he's like in very a uh, lot of like money problems. And at the end, he started making meth. You know what it's meth? Like metham met methamphetamine. Uh -huh. And so it's a drug, like a crystal drug. And he starts doing it and he do a great job doing that. And he starts selling. He becomes like a drug lord. Uh, and yeah. a lot yeah. of things happen. Seven seasons. Amazing. Amazing. 
So yeah, that, that's good as well. Mm. But today is a good, it's a great day because we, uh, well, commemorate, commemorate uh, the day, uh, the, the violence against women. Oh, really? Is today? today? Yeah, yes, teacher. I didn't know. Uh -huh. It's a... Uh, is in I don't know if we can commemorate the assassinate assassinato not murder <laughs> the murder uh, of Mirabal's uh, sister in Dominican Republic oh really I didn't I didn't know that that today was uh, a commemorative day oh, okay and there were like uh, I don't know like meetings or things about that well, like uh, or what 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 happened that day? Yeah, uh, you you need to use a uh, orange cloth. Okay. Or uh, I don't know, liston. I think it's blaze, but let me okay. let me check. Okay, orange blaze. Uh, well, but uh, it's important for, for for all countries, I think. <laughs> okay, that's good. I, I actually I didn't know. I, I didn't know about it. So it's actually, let me see. No, you don't get here. Let me look for it. Because I don't know how to say liston. Mm -hmm. Just ribbon. So is it ribbon? Yeah. How do you say liston? Ribbon. It's R I B B O N. Ribbon. Mm -hmm. Ribbon. Yeah, ribbon. Very good. So welcome everybody. Good evening to everybody. Thank you very much for being here. It's really nice to see you again. Uh, we're gonna start. This is our 14th class. Uh, we're just missing two classes to finish the curse. So very good. Hey, nice paint there back to you, Sophia. Did you do that? Yes? That's good. It's an encargo. Oh, really? <laughs> so it, it's not finished yet? No, voy a terminar en una semana. It looks good. It's, it's very pretty. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So we're going to start, and as, as you request yesterday, so we're going to start with uh, what you had to stop so we can get a little bit of vocabulary uh, again. I'm sorry. <laughs> the ghost is here. <laughs> so uh, we're going to do with what you had to stop right now. Uh, the only difference now is that we are going to uh, add uh, some things. Uh, the last time I think we did like four things. We're going to add two more right now. So this is the one that we're going to um, we're going to do. Uh, we're going to look now for a country, for a verb. It could be any verb. It could be in present. It could be in past. It could be in past participle. And that's not a problem. The only thing is that it needs to be a verb. Then a name. Uh, a fruit and a thing. You know what is a thing? Cosa. Exactly. So whatever object that starts with the letter that I'm going to put, that will be okay. All right. So make the, the chart there in your, either in your note, your notebook, or if you're in a computer, you can do it in a computer as well. And let me know when you're ready. Okay.
Let me know once you have completed the chart and you're ready. If you want, you can raise your hand there in Zoom so I can know that we are ready. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mauricio. For the ones that just joined, uh, we're going to play it again, uh, Chirato Stop. So please do this chart and let me know once you have finished. Okay. okay thank you, Goberto. Okay, so is everybody ready? Yes? Yes. All right, so let's do it. So let me put the first letter here. And as remembered, as soon as you finished, you say stop or what you have to stop and then everybody stop and we see the options that you got. All right, so let's start with the first one, J. Stop. <laughs> All right. Very good, Jolanda. So, okay. Tell us. Tell us. I think country Japan. Okay. Verb jump. Mm -hmm. Name a uh, Josephine. Okay. <laughs> Fruit, a uh, grape. Grape. Uh, yes. Oh, grape. 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 Yes. Grape. But grape starts with G. Ah, okay. <laughs> sorry, yes. Brown, uh, well, brown is brown. Ah, sorry, yes. <laughs> no worries. Uh, no. No worries. Okay, and uh, well, sing juice. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, we're... <laughs> I guess it no worries. So we, we, we're missing fruit. Who has a fruit? With Jay? G, comma. Jacobote. <laughs> okay. okay. That's good. And he, and he can... How do you say Hokote in English? Hokote. There is no translation. That's the name. Hokote, Hikama. That's it. <laughs> yeah. The proper names, there's they don't have translation. So Hokote is Hokote. Here in Japan. Everywhere is Hokote. <laughs> Very good. Uh, do you have any other country, for example? Jamaica. Jamaica, yes. Another birth besides jump? Join. Join, good. Name, another name? Jake. Huh? July. July. July, yes. Jake. Jay, yep. Yay. Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Another fruit, besides hokote and hikama, another fruit. Gru grape. Oh. <laughs> Which one? What, what do you say, Maria? Grape is G. Yeah, grape is with G. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult with fruit. I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm trying to remember one, but I don't. I don't get anyone. So let's let's get with Hokote and Hikama. 
and thing. With thing? Ghost? Uh, no. Oh, is oh my God. <laughs> Jar. Jar. Jack. Jar. Jar. Very good. Jack. Okay. Jeans. What? Jeans. Jeans. Yes, jeans. Very good. Excellent. Jewel. What? Jewel. Jewel. Jules. Jewel. Uh, joya, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Jewels, or jewelry. Jewels, jewels. Okay, yes, very good. Excellent. Let's do another letter. All right. Let's go, okay. Stop. Stop. Very good. Irvin. Country. You have for Kenya. For country? Kenya. Good. Yeah. Verb, no. Uh -huh. Name, Carla. Fruit, kiwi. Good. And thing, cart. Cart? Yes, like go cart. Cart. Oh, go cart. Good. Very good. Excellent. Great. Another country. Korea. Korea. A verb. Keep. Keep. And kick. Huh? Kick. Kick. Yes, uh -huh. kick as well. Yeah, kick. Name. Christian. What? <laughs> Kike. Kike. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it applies. What? Christian. Christian. Yes. Kirk. <laughs> Kirk. Kirk, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. Kirk, 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 Kenny. and think. I'm sorry, fruit besides kiwi. Only kiwi. Only kiwi, right? I don't, I don't know if there's another one. What about thing? King, king, king. Yes, king. Oh. Very good. And the last oh. one. Why? The first one is complicated. Anybody? <laughs> it's complicated, teacher. Yeah, I know. Uh, if you don't have the country, you can say a uh, stop. Country. I name. don't have the verb. The verb. <laughs> stop. 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 Okay. Who has it? Uh, me. Gaming. Country. <laughs> it's the old. Makeup. <laughs> <laughs> 
that's the only one. That's the only <laughs> country. The only one. Yeah. yeah, that's the only one. Jemin. Very good. Verb. Jill. 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 Yep. The name. Janira. Janira. Yuri. What? Yuri. Yuri. Okay. Yuri. Yuri. Name. I'm sorry. Fruit. Yuka. John Berry. Yuka. <laughs> I like you. Yuka. Okay. <laughs> Yuka. Yuka. Yeah. Okay. But you, you say. Huh? <laughs> It's a vegetable, yucca. <laughs> We're going to call it fruit. That's fine. Call it fruit, oh, yeah. vegetable. But I, I heard someone say John. John Berry. John Berry. Okay. And Not yellow mango. Yellow mango. <laughs> <Where>? Yellow mango. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There's green mangoes and yellow mangoes. Okay. And yucca like. is with double C, I think. I don't know. I, I, I remember. With K. Yuka. Yuka. I, no, I think it's, it's no, I think it's with double C. But I don't don't rem, I don't I, I don't know. I, I, I thought it was with K, like Yuka. <laughs> I uh, with K? Mm, yeah. Okay. I yuka. don't know. Let's see. Yeah. It appears with K. I yeah, think that's need, correct. Good good K. It's yeah. not double C. And no. Oh, well it's that's with double, double C. It's double C? Yes. yes, I remember that. Oh, yeah. This is the form. Yeah. All right. It's very yucca. Yeah, very yucca. <laughs> very yucca, very yucca. But verb in verb in with J? Uh, gelt. Huh? Gelt. It's and Jown. Jown? How do you spell? It's G. G. Um, G. Y. <laughs> y. E. L. L. Gel. What's the meaning of that? Uh, the meaning of gel is gritar. Ah, mm -hmm. Scream. Teacher, yeah. and jam, I think is a, a bostezar, no? If this is not a verb, jam. Jam, how, how do you spell that? A W, no. <laughs> G and J. J, no. Yeah, I, I don't remember the, the letter teacher. Why? Why? A, A, W, yeah. and N. Down. W. Oh, yeah. Yes. It's, uh, I think it's Bostezar. Yeah, it is. But I think this is a noun. I mean, this is the name. But it's yo bostezo, tu bostezas, yeah. a bosteza. I yeah, think, I think it's a can, verb. Yeah, it's a verb too. I need, yeah. okay, verb. It's see. a verb too, yeah. It's a verb and also a noun. It's like uh, bostezo and bostezar. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, it's, it's, let me hear, yeah, yon. Yon. Yeah, it's like, it's like Japanese. Yon, yeah. <laughs> Very good. And what about think? Yo, yo. Joyo, yes. Jart. 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 No, it's that's a with, Jale. That's with Jale. Jail. Jale. Jail. Jale. Okay. <laughs> but that's the brand, or is it? Uh -huh, is it? Yeah, that's the brand. Yeah, that's the brand. <laughs> that's the brand. <laughs> right, yellow. but yellow, yes, yellow as well. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Good. So great job. Great job, everybody. So now what we're going to do is we're going to speak. That's the best part here. We're going to speak a lot today. This is a re our review as well. We're doing reviews this for, for last lessons. Um, and we're going to start a review now uh, about the uh, uh, what is it called? Oh, the use to. Do you remember that we saw the use to like in, I don't remember, it was like 
kind of at the beginning of the curse. Do you remember the used to? Yeah. Do you remember how, how it's how it's used? Yes, teacher. Things that we used to do and we don't do it anymore. Exactly. So the, those things that we used to do and they were like habits or things that we are like we frequently uh, did, but now we don't do it anymore. That's correct. So that's what we are going to talk about now. I have here three questions that I need you to do with your group. So I'm going to put you in groups so you can discuss these questions. Main purpose of the activity is that you speak, that you speak in past and that you speak in present as well. Because you're going to say, uh, for example, the first one, did you used to get good grades in high school? Then you can say, oh, I used to have good grades or I used to be a very bad student, but now uh, I'm, I'm not anymore. Now I, I try to study a lot and whatever and whatever. So that's what I need you to uh, do, that you speak as much as you can um, and that everybody speaks. Everybody give your opinions of the question and then you move to the other one and so on and so on, okay? So if you can copy them or better if you can take a picture or make a screen capture, that will be better. So uh, you can have them. Uh, let me know once you have it so we can make and split the groups. Hello, teacher. Hi. Sorry for coming late. No worries. But, but I'm here right now. <laughs> No worries, no worries. Uh, did you hear the yeah, instructions? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Did yes. you hear? Okay, cool. Yes, thank you. Sure. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. What is the meaning of hate? Oh, hate is odiar. Something that you don't like a lot. Okay, thank you. Sure. Okay, I think we are all ready, right? Yeah. Teacher, okay. the first one, I, I don't understand that did you use to get good grades? Good it means grades. that if, when you were, for example, in high school, uh, you used to get tens, nines, or uh, eights. Only good marks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, only good grades. Uh, good grades. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Thank you. Sure. Okay, so let's go to the groups. Let me make the groups right now. Okay, let's see. All right, so let's go. Dolores, were you able to get into the groups? Maybe eight and nine. <laughs> uh, yes. I used to be a good student in high school, but I never, um, how do you say, gave a, pre, a, pre, a premium. A price. I never tried. I know. 
but I used to play sports and I, and I ganaba premios in a deport, but, but in I didn't the grade, win. No. <laughs> in sports, 10. In physical education, grade, 10. 10. Uh -huh. <laughs> So, do you used to be a good student? Uh, more so. or less. So, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. What games did you used to play when you were a kid, Vanessa? Or, or... I used to play. Um, what? I used to play chintas, chintaladas. Jacks. Jacks. Ah, Jacks. Yes. Jacks. <laughs> yeah, that's the name. That that's how it's called. It's Jacks. Yes. Jacks. Yeah. Me too. I used to play Jacks. I used to play Jacks and jump and jump the, the rope and yo yo jump. Okay, Joe. No, yeah. Jump the rope. Jump the rope. Uh-huh. Yeah. Jump the rope. In you... my case, I used to play trompo. Oh really? Uh, yes. And how do you say canicas? Chivola? Uh, marbles. <laughs> oh marbles. Okay. And you winner. And you you be a winner or not? Or lost no. all. <laughs> <laughs> I lost all. <laughs> and did you have pulso? Any pulso? Mm, no. <laughs> Is this the reason because I lost all? <laughs> you lost all the canicas. The marbles. Yes. The boya. The marbles. The boya. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Keep practicing with the rest of the question. Okay, okay teacher. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you finish um, already, or are you still practicing? Practicing. Okay. What is the food that the you used to hate, but now you like. Hmm. I don't know how. How can I say? How? Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of camarones? No. How do you say? Shrimp. How do you say camarones? Uh huh. As Rafael said, shrimps. 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 No, you like. Now I like. Really? Why you didn't like them? Entendí que la pregunta dice lo que antes no me gustaba y ahora me gusta. No, yeah, I know, but why why you didn't like the shrimps before? Uh, because when I was a child, mm -hmm. the camarones no entendí cómo se dice. <laughs> shrimp. <laughs> shrimp. Yeah, let me send it here in the in the chat. <laughs> shrimp. I think it's like that. Shrimp. Let me see. Shrimp. Shrimp. Yes. Shrimp. Yeah, shrimp. Me parecían feos en aspecto. Okay. <laughs> so they look <laughs> they look ugly for you they look ugly okay <laughs> <laughs> but now I can to appraise how delicious <laughs> yeah are <laughs> yeah they are very delicious <laughs> the same happened to me as well with the avocado you know the avocado uh, yes yeah um, I used yes. to hate the avocado when I was a the, kid the consistency the yeah, consistency. I mean, I I, I, I tried strange. it. Yeah, I tried it the first yeah. time. I was like, I mean, this is tasteless. It's like, 
I don't me know. Me too, but now I like it. Yeah, me too. Now I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the avocado. Um, yeah, but the beginning it was like, I don't know, because my father, he likes to like in a tortilla tostada and put it and salt. <laughs> and it, yeah, and he was like, wow, this is so delicious. I'm like, no, that's disgusting. I mean, that, that's bad. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and something as well that that's I have never tried, but it's weird, and I think like this is like for all people. They, my father, for my father and my mother, they used to uh, eat for breakfast uh, milk with tortilla and salt. Mm -hmm. yeah. Milk. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. They okay. put. They, like, it's like cereal, but instead of cereal, you, they with put tortilla. tortilla. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And salt, yeah. Okay, uh, my, my, okay. My, father's, my father in Charlatanango. They used to do that. Did it. Really? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, at the 5 a.m., uh -huh. he was, he uh, went to. No, no, that. Si iba, como digo, si iba, él, ellos, iba, he went to. He went to. Ordeñar the cows. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for because I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Pero ya le entendimos la yeah. idea. Sí. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know how to say it in English. It says here order, but Orden. I don't think this is correct. <laughs> yeah, no, this is not correct. Order. Let me see. No. Oh. Yeah, okay. Oh, sorry. so it's, it's milking, milking cows. So milking the uh, cow. Yeah, milking. Milking. Yeah, milking. Yeah, that, that, that's what, what my father used to tell to told me. Like, the, that's what they do when they were uh, kids. They went in the, in the morning to milk the cow. And then, like, with the, the milk, it's, it's like they said that it's, like, warm when they just uh, take it out from the, from the cow. And then warm milk, then the tortilla, a bunch of salt, and start eating it. <laughs> yeah, they said it was delicious. I have never tried because I, I don't know, it was like weird for me. I preferred uh, sucaritas or, uh, or, or <laughs> what's the other one? The choco creepy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I preferred that. <laughs> All right. So I used to hate uh, mushrooms. Oh, really? Yes, and turkey. You, you didn't like turkey as well? Yes, I didn't like. I, I think, uh, no, I, I thought mm -hmm. that uh, that was very strange. Like the texture of the, of the meat? Yes, and the flavor. Uh -huh. Yeah, the flavor is very different. It's like very, like the gallina, right? It's it's very. I don't like gallina at all, and I don't like it for two reasons. The first one, Why? it's because it's like very like I don't know hard, like the meat mm -hmm. is very hard. And the second one, it's that when I was a kid, uh, my my mother bought me a, a little chicken. Those ones uh -huh. that sells in the mercado. <laughs> so he she bought me that little little chicken. And I, I bought the food and everything. And I started like growing the, the, the chicken and then it became a gallina. One day my mother told me, hey, we're gonna go to your grandma's house. And okay, good. <laughs> we went to my grandma's house. I was playing with my gallina and out of the sun and my gallina disappeared. And I was like, where's Josefina? Because that was the name <laughs> of the other gallina. And I was asking my mom, mom, where's, where's, where's Josefina? We're gonna eat her. Like what? Did you kill my, my, my gallina? She was, yes, but it's delicious. And I started crying a lot. And then my <laughs> grandmother was like, hijo, vení, vení a tomar sopa. Yo, no, mi Josefina, no. Mi Josefina. <laughs> but it's something about feeling, too. That's why I don't like gallina. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So keep practicing with the rest of the question. You're doing a great job. Okay. Thank you. La cancha de fútbol. Ah, I did. In the soccer field. Soccer field. Okay. All right. That's that's pretty good. But you don't oh. play anymore. 
Yes, uh, we. Uh, I, I used to like uh, football football game. Oh, when my when my my friends. How about you? Well, um, we used to play video games after um, after class. Um, so, uh, our parents they they imagined that we were at home, but we <laughs> went to Ciber Cafe. <laughs> they were really famous back then. Yeah, and yeah. we 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 play uh, in the, on the PS2. I don't know if you had play video games on the PS2, and we were playing uh, the, the most famous game back then, FIFA. Oh, FIFA! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and we we made some uh, bets. Hey, two dollars. Uh, one dollar. If you lose, uh, you're gonna you're gonna buy our snacks for tomorrow, and <laughs> things like that. Well, that's very funny. Yeah. And those are the things that I miss the most. I think. Yeah, definitely. Those are the things that you you remember with like, like with that feeling in your heart. It's like, wow, those those days were good. <laughs> Yeah, and you and you and you say that I didn't enjoy. Um, yeah, as I should. As I should. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Francisco? What do you used to play? I I used to play a soccer game. Oh, really? I used to play. A, uh, Chibola. Marbles. Uh, I used to play uh, uh, trompo. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and were you able to like to put it in your hand and, and do the tricks? Uh, with my friend uh, here, here in, in, in my neighbor. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I used to uh, I used to room and around around the around my around the my house. Okay, you used to run around your house. Around the around the house. Okay, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, very good, excellent. So we're gonna go back now to the to the main room. So let's go there. Just let me put it here. All right, let's go. All right, great conversations out there. Good stories, good memories. That's great, very good. So uh, in order for we can continue practicing and uh, for we can uh, keep like checking the other things we saw on these classes, uh, uh, we're gonna see, do you remember the indirect questions? Do you remember them? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Very good. So let's do this quick exercise here so we can move to the other part of the of the uh, of the class. So let's do if you want let's do this together so we can do it a, a little bit quick. Uh, what we are going to do is we're going to turn these direct questions and we're going to make indirect question. Just for you can remember for the ones that don't remember like uh, very good. Indirect questions are polite questions. So are questions that you make them in a very polite way. So for example, the first one says, uh, where does she play tennis? So in order to make an indirect question, then you will say, excuse me, or- uh, Could you tell me? Exactly. <laughs> Could you tell me where she plays tennis? Excellent, very good. So that's what we are going to practice right now. So Yolanda, you can do number two. Uh, uh, could you tell me uh, where she lives? No, verdad. No. Where she, well, does she lives in Paris? Uh -huh. Could you tell me where? No. Uh, no. Could you tell me? Where does uh, she? 
No. Does she no? She lives in Paris. She lives in Paris. One more time. Could you tell me she lives in Paris? No. Huh? No. Tell me if she, she lives. lives. Exactly. If remember when it's a yes no question. Yeah. You say if. So could if. you tell me if she lives if in, she Paris? in Paris? Yeah. Good, Amy. Okay. Great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot of smoke. <laughs> Very good. Number three. Who wants to make number three? Hi. Okay. Como dice? Um, could you tell me what this is? Yes. Excellent. Great. That's correct. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Number four, Sofia. I see you. You you had you raise your hand. Yeah, me arrepiento. <laughs> <laughs> Number four. Do you know? Do, do you know hmm, is no no. Do you know he no. he Spanish no. <laughs> Remember, with yes no question, we add something. If. If. Do you know if. he is Spanish? No. No. If. He is Spanish. If. Spanish is. Do you know he is Spanish? No. <laughs> this is a tongue and twister. Yeah, tongue twister. <laughs> No, remember that when it's a yes, no question, you have to add if at the beginning. So you say, for example, do you know if she is, I'm sorry, he, he is Spanish? So that's how you're going to say it. Like, do you know if he is Spanish? Uh, <laughs> okay, can you say it again? Me, teacher. Uh, Do you know if he is Spanish? Very good. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Go, Alexander. Number five. Can you tell me if uh, if I am late? Very good. Excellent. Christian, number six. <laughs> Number six, Chrissy. Okay. Could you tell me where are you watching TV at 3 p.m. or 8 p.m.? One more time. Could you tell me uh -huh. where are you watching? Are you sure? No. No. Hmm, a little, a little, little. <laughs> <laughs> so, what type of question is? I W H. No. I think teacher that is missing if. Oh, it's where? Exactly. Ah, uh, could you tell me? Uh huh. Um, where? No. Is you watch? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so what type of I question work. is? No. What type of question is it? Yes, no question. It's a just no question. And what happens when we have a just no question to make it an, indi a, uh, an indirect question? If. We add if, exactly. Could you tell me if were you watching TV at but 8 p.m.? You have to change the verb and the subject. So could you tell me if? You were. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me if you were watching TV at 8 p.m.? 3 p.m., very good. Uh, <laughs> <I knew. laughs> but that's correct, that's correct. 8 p.m. Very oh. good. <laughs> Number seven, uh, Judith. Uh, okay, the number seven, right? Yes. Okay. And uh, could you tell me if was he late for the meeting? No. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Um, what what is missing? Uh, if you have no, you you already mm -hmm. say miss if, but you have to invert the subject and the verb. Um, like uh, well, okay, could you tell me if was nope. he late? First, by the subject. So, could you tell me if the subject and then the verb? Uh, if um, he if he late for the meeting was no. Let's say it again. Could you tell me if then the subject? If the meeting no, the subject is he. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I really need your help. <laughs> okay, so could you tell me if he? And Could then the verb to be. If he was. If he was late. Tell me if he was. Okay. Could you tell me if he was late for the meeting? Excellent. That's correct. That Good. was so hard. <laughs> you are so bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> but that's correct. You did it good. Great. But thanks, Emilio. <laughs> Teacher. Yes. Uh, I think that the second part of the sentence is like an affirmation. The second part. Uh, when you say an, in, an indirect after, question. After if, it's like an affirmation. Yep, it's like a positive sentence. Okay, yes. Exactly, that's correct. Irvin. Can you tell me why were you late? Why you were late for the meeting? Exactly. Very good. Why you were late for the meeting. Excellent. And number nine. Volunteer, number nine. When this, could you tell me when the cinema closed down? Very good. When the cinema closed down. Excellent. Very good. Okay, so we got eight minutes. I'm not sure how much we can do, but we're going to do a role play right now. Uh, you are in the middle of San Salvador's down, downtown. En el medio del centro. Bien perdido. So you are looking for directions or instructions on how to get home. So what we are going to do is we're going to make conversations with our classmate, asking for information uh, and using the indirect questions. So how are we going to do it? We're going to talk with, let's pretend we are in the middle of San Salvador. Then you reach somebody that it's there and you're going to start making indirect questions in order to get to your home. For example, these are three questions here that you can use. Um, you can ask, where, where am I? How do I get to in your place, Santa Tecla, uh, Pango, whatever. Um, is there an ATM nearby? And all of this, of course, you're going to make it using or, sorry, or making it in an indirect question. So in the conversation, you make like, like, excuse me, uh, could you tell me where I am? Or excuse me, could you tell me how can I get to this place? Or can you tell me what bus, uh, bus route can I take to? And any question that you can invent. All right, so let me make in couples right now. Let's see how much we can do in at least like five minutes. So let me put you there and then we can um, see any any conversations. Let me let me check here. Okay. All right. So let's go. Let's do it quick to see how much we can do. And if we can do much, uh, we're gonna see it on Monday. But let's practice it right now. Let's go. For example, I have to ask you how, uh, where am I? Where am I? <laughs> uh, um, could you tell me 
where am I? Can I say, teacher? Where I am. Tell, where, uh, okay. Uh -huh. Could you tell me where I am, Dagoberto? I see you're on mute, Dagoberto. <laughs> Uh, now you are in front of a uh, national palace. National palace. Ah, okay. Oh, this is the national palace, and and <laughs> uh, she is the Queen Isabel. Sorry. Ah, eh, como digo que hay dos estatuas, sí. Una es. <risa> ¿Por qué no dice estatua? Statue. Statue. Ah, yeah. estatue. Uh -huh. Statue. Yeah, statue. Ah, okay. Ah, sí, sí. <risa> ok. Eh, that's two statues are eh, Queen Isabel and Christopher Columbus. Ah, ok. Like, like in Dominican Republic. Eh, there is a, a statue uh, of Cristóbal Colón. Yeah, that's Christopher Columbus. Columbus. Yeah, Christopher. In 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 English, they call it Christopher Columbus. It's the same. Chris, Cristóbal Colón. You have to say it in English. Yeah. <laughs> Columbus. Christopher uh -huh. Columbus. Yeah. But in United States, uh, uh, Columbus <laughs> don't have the, the name. Uh, uh, Remember to Cristobal Columbus. Yeah, I mean that, that actually yes. that's why they have the Columbus Day. Yes. Yeah, Columbus Day. Ah. Columbus Day is because of Christopher Columbus. That okay. is Cristobal yeah. Columbus. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I didn't know that. Interesting. As well. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. I will I will read about it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Christopher Gilmero, Christopher Columbus. Okay. Christopher. Christopher. Yeah, yeah Christopher uh -huh. Columbus is the same Cristobal uh -huh. Columbus. <laughs> okay. Uh, and thank you, Dagoberto. And is there an ATM nearby? Uh, indirect question, remember. Ah, uh, can you tell me if there is an ATM nearby? ATM, it's like a uh, like machine. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, I think that in... only only of Chivo. Uh, <laughs> exactly. I, I <laughs> only Chivo ATM. <laughs> Chivo ATM. <laughs> What's your bank? Okay, <laughs> but I have to to have what I have to have what I have to what I have to have money uh, or, or bitcoins. Yeah, you have to have bitcoins. I have to have bitcoins. <laughs> okay. uh, what is the the other question? How do you? Okay, ah. we're gonna stop the, 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 the meeting right now. Let's go to the main groups because we're okay. almost finishing. So let me go there. So let's go. Hey. <laughs> All right, so were you able to get your home from San Salvador's downtown? Or are you still lost? Siguen perdidos ahí en in the middle of San Salvador? I, I'm in the Central Park. <laughs> <laughs> in front of two sta statues. Is, is, of, is statues. A statue statues. in front of two statues. <laughs> <laughs> They are on... Waiting for a bus. <laughs> yeah, waiting for, for the 42. 42. <laughs> uh, and, I have, and I have to pay with bitcoins. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
So, it, I'm sorry that we didn't have like much time to do the 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 role play. Uh, I think we're gonna try to make it on Monday. So, because I would like to see some of you doing it, the whole group. So, I think we're gonna do a little practice on Monday about it, and then you're gonna make it here with the whole group. So you can make the conversation there. And well, that's the, the, the class for today. I don't know if you have any questions so far. No questions? Very good. No. No, teacher. Everything is clear. Excellent. Teacher, this yes. a, it's a homework. Uh, um, yeah, you can practice it if you want. Uh, but not necessarily for homework. I mean, we're going to do it on Monday. So Mondays, we're going to practice it. But if you want to do it at your home, that's fine. No worries. It's not me. All right. So uh, <laughs> one more time, thank you very much for being here. Remember, we don't have classes tomorrow. We have classes until Monday. So thank you very much for being here. I really, really, really hope that you have a very good weekend. Uh, enjoy it with your family, with your friends, uh, whatever things you do to enjoy your weekend, do it, uh, take a rest, and we're going to see you on Monday, okay? Okay. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very see much, you, everybody. Teacher. See you. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. What? Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.